you know, we'll talk about the Lakers situation because do they get to the point where they're eliminated and then you sit down LeBron? And I started to look at the numbers with the Lakers. I mean, it's really a lot of bad luck that put them in this position. Let's say that these things didn't happen. You know, Brandon Ingram has a shoulder injury. Kyle, uh, Kyle Kuzma uh, was hobbling to the bench in the fourth quarter, sprained ankle. James had the groin injury Christmas Day. Uh, Lonzo Balls missed 17 games. Rajon Rondo was injured as well this year. Let's say you didn't have those injuries for that amount of time. What would we be talking about with the Lakers? Because they'd be a playoff team. So you might say, well, a sixth seed, seventh seed. Okay, this has been a good year. That's, you know, they're kind of feeling each other out, seeing what players they like, they don't like. Who's got a future? You're, you're poised for next year. You're not doing anything crazy. Quietly, you could try to see, inquire about Anthony Davis. That's the approach that they needed to make if they could have, you know, been able to stay the course. But you had all of these injuries. And then it felt like, oh my gosh, let's take the game plan, throw it out the window. Let's see if we can salvage the season by getting Anthony Davis. Even if we don't win and don't make the playoffs, we've given you great hope for next year. Right now, you don't have great hope for next year. Because LeBron at his age, is he going to attract somebody, given the circuit, Luke Walton loses his job, these younger players are, are going to be sent packing, you, you assume, and if you're going to get Anthony Davis. If I'm a free agent, I don't, I don't want to go into that. It's so uncertain. LeBron picks his coach, and who else is going to be there when I get there? If I'm Kawhi, I don't want that. Clay, I don't want that. Kevin Durant, I don't want that. Kyrie, I don't want that. Who are you getting? And I think that's where you have to be realistic here. I think if they had shown patience, uh, but you know, you still have the injury to LeBron, that we might look at this situation and say, that was a successful season. Like, you know, you win 44 games, that's a successful season. And, you know, LeBron was able to help these younger players. He, there was a timeout last night where his back is to Luke Walton. <laughs> He's having his own huddle? It, it, just imagine if you're 24 years of age. And you're looking at, that's one of the great players of all time. And he's got his back to Luke Walton during a timeout. I don't know what he was looking at, looking for. Uh, but he had his back to Luke Walton. And you're just going, you know, you, for them to respect the coach, you have to respect the coach. They're watching you. They're watching what you do. And this, he, th we've, we've had this at different stops in LeBron's career. Remember Eric Spolstra where he gave him the shoulder? Well, what happened with David Blatt with the Cavaliers? I mean, you, you, you're setting an example. And it's a bad example. But it's a lost season. And maybe they shut him down. Maybe they used the groin injury, never fully healed, and then they shut him down. I, I don't know how much that helps their lottery uh, chances there, but if it, if it could go wrong, it did go wrong this year. And people are going to pay a big price. But now there's a whole lot of pressure. If you thought there was pressure this year, wait till next year in the offseason. Because... LeBron, go out there and get some of your buddies. Who are your buddies? Magic. Go out and get some of these players. You're Magic Johnson. I don't think it's going to be as easy as everybody thinks. And I get the feeling New Orleans is not going to deal with the Lakers. And if I'm New Orleans, I hold on to Anthony Davis as long as I can because I want to drive the price up. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.